AI-powered pumps, cutting-edge air compression systems, CO2 management software. These are some of the technologies shaping the future of energy. Ministers, top CEOs and leaders in the oil and gas industry have gathered here at the Gas Tech Conference in Dubai to discuss ideas and innovations that will revolutionize the industry over the next decade. And there is one common goal, becoming sustainable while producing the energy the world wants and needs. Houston-based Baker Hughes is at the forefront of tech innovation in the energy sector. CEO Lorenzo Simonelli tells me more about this big idea. The next big thing in the energy industry is really about reducing emissions and not fuel sources. And that's the technology that we're focused on at Baker Hughes as an energy technology company. So let's talk about the exciting technologies. You're deploying robotics and AI technologies as well. Uh, how is that going to help companies become more sustainable? I'll give you an interesting stat. If you just uh, make the industry 10% more efficient by deploying technologies that we produce, such as Flare IQ, you can actually reduce half a gigaton of emissions, CO2 emissions. And that's 5% of the target towards the Paris Accord. I want to talk about Flare IQ because um, we see a lot of gas flaring. How do you solve this problem? Because firstly, you're wasting gas, right? And secondly, it's really bad for the environment. You are wasting gas, which is a huge shame. And so we've developed a technology called Flare IQ. And if you look at a flare stack, it runs at an efficiency of about 70%, which means you've got emissions being flared an incremental 30%. By deploying Flare IQ, we're able to increase the efficiency of that stack from 70 to 98%. In terms of the more mature oil producing nations, specifically in the Middle East, what kind of demand are you seeing? I mean, are there, what kind of conversations are you having behind closed doors? A number of the major companies are looking at hydrogen clusters, they're looking at the way to develop CCUS, they're actually eliminating flaring, so there's a lot of activity. And I think also during this conference, you're hearing more and more about how companies are moving forward. And also the transfer from coal to natural gas. Natural gas is one of the ways in which we can transition, but it's also a destination fuel. And we're very optimistic with the outlook of gas.